Hey guys, and welcome back to the Global Life. Um, so, today, not too much about flying, just a little bit of technical for fun. Uh, we're gonna geek out about how we get our clearances on the Global Express. I don't know if you guys can guess how many ways there are to pick up a clearance on the Global. I'm gonna give you five seconds to think about it. If you guess three, you're right. Let's talk about them now. So obviously there's a traditional method, uh, which we'll be using microphone, a frequency, call clearance delivery, and uh, from there, transcribe it by voice on our paper, read back, and uh, make sure we got the whole thing correct. Um, this is what most of us are used to from flight school and uh, for most of our career. Thankfully this airplane is equipped with two other different ways to get a clearance and um, here is uh, the other ones. If you notice right here next to the Toronto clearance, there's a data communication box. Uh, here it tells us that we can get the part, uh, the digital ATIS. Uh, so you've seen me, for example, pull up the ATIS. Um, on our FMSs, go into data link, receive messages, and here we are, for example, our Toronto and our Boston ATIS. So this is here uh, considered digital ATIS. And under here you can see PDC, pre-departure clearance, uh, which is the next, uh, the next method we'll be exploring for getting our clearances. So when it comes in, uh, we get a data link message that there is an air ink message, so this is relayed to us by uh, by data link, and this is coming from uh, ATC to the airplane, and it's just basically a digital uh, pre-departure clearance from Toronto. JFON two will be the departure ATC clearance. So clear that's filed. File flight plan, and then there's a whole route kept at two. Uh, Bampa, Avon, Hank to JFON 2, I'm sorry, the JFON is the arrival, not the departure, arrival, remarks, USID, um, the standard instrument departure, CAPTA 2, departure runway 23, destination Boston, contact clearance with identifier 303 November. So what's going to happen here is we will call clearance delivery, but not for them to give us a clearance, simply to tell them we have clearance PDC number 303 November and that will tell them that we got the correct clearance and that'll be it. The squad code is even here, 0514. There's a requested altitude, departure time and, uh, and the clearance. So very easy. So what we're going to do is uh, tune in to clearance delivery. We'll tell them we have PDC 303 November. So I'll do this all right in here. I'll call them. And uh, we should be good to go. So the second way to do this, we'll go to our trusty CPDLC logon page. We will log on with KUSA, which is just a common one for all of the United States here. They don't use it in the air, but they do use it on the airports. Put in the flight ID. which is a call sign and different than a tail number. Arm ATC communication, because that's what we're gonna need. And send it. As soon as this is true. We'll get it accepted message and ATCCOM established with now seeing KUSA as the active center. Once we're within the correct time window, um, the uh, ground controlling agency here will be sending us our clearance and there it comes. See ATC message clear to 
this waypoint cam via route clearance. Load new route to cam after cam, clear to VNY airport as filed. Logan 3, climb via the SID. Expect flight level 430, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency was 133.0. Squawk 3452, contact 1265 to push Boston Logan 3 Highland Ranch, the cam and flight plan route to Vini. Accept, send. And here you'll see there's an extra step once we've accepted, received, and accepted this. There's now the option to activate that link flight plan. Now I'm going to use data link, the air link that we saw earlier, to download the rest of the flight plan. Received. Review. That's all there. Here we have Boston to camp. We still need to put in what ATC gave us. Boston, Logan 3, Highland, Managed, Camp. And then the rest has filed. Departure. Or departure, like as it would say in Boston. Logan 3. Good. Logan 3. Pretty simple. Remember that we need manch. And that's it guys, three ways to get a clearance in a Global Express. Now remember that the last one that we saw, the data link, not the data link, but sorry, the uh, CPDLC version directly through ATC, you notice that they can push the clearance to us. And if there was a difference, sometimes uh, when we're over the Atlantic, they can push a, uh, a clearance, a new clearance to us, and we can load it directly into the FMS without having to do anything else but to click activate does take to make sure that we double check the waypoints and refer everything to be correct but otherwise that's it hope you enjoyed